Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annette. Today I will be making bouillon. I believe it's called vegetable soup in English. Um, easy to make. I'm going to show you how I make my bouillon. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, two pieces of beef. I just cut it into six pieces. As I stated before, this is for my husband. I'm going to add one garlic. Just slice it big or small, however you wish. And then I have a little bit of onion here. I'm going to add some more at the end, but I'm going to show you how I add it so I can flavor my whole dish. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my our Haitian seasoning. That should be good. I have the season package. This is just half. Not even half. And I'm going to use half of the Maggie. Like this. This is your complete seasoning. Okay. Uh, garlic salt. Just a little bit like that. Because remember, we don't have a lot of meat. And I'm just making this for my husband so we garlic powder black pepper and if you notice I usually use the same uh, seasoning I'm going to use Timashan ha adubo or adobo however you want to pronounce that and I'm going to use sour orange. Uh, I forgot to mention that I did clean my beef prior. So we're going to use a little bit of sour orange like this. Uh, let's just put a little bit more. It's not going to hurt anything. Add in my scotch bonnet. Optional, I like to put a little vinegar, just a drop of vinegar when I'm making beef, just a drop like that. And what we're gonna do is just mix this in. And we're gonna cook it until nice and tender. And I'm also gonna add, I have some leftover uh, Dungeness crab legs. Very tasty, delicious. We're going to just add those in like this. And we're going to let it cook until our um, meat is nice and tender. And I'm going to show you how I put my bouillon together. All right, guys. Here's our beef and our crabs. I'm going to just let the crab flavor the, uh, this meat. And then I'm going to take it out and then put it back in. This cook for about an hour until our um, meat. It smells real good, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't have a cameraman right now. Um, now we're going to let this cook for about an hour. Put the lid on it. And I'll show you how All right, guys. Here's our beef and our crab. I gave it some color with some tomato paste and oil. Just look at my oxtail video. You'll see how I color my meat. And as I stated before, this is for my husband, so it's not a big portion. But if you want to make a larger size, just add more meat, add more crab. So at this point, what we're going to do, I have some water boiling. And this is the liquid from our meat. I'm going to just add it back in like this. It's going to give this some flavor. And if you notice, I cut up my vegetables. And I let it sit in some salt water. If you notice, our vegetables are nice. They did not turn brown. Uh, that's the way uh, to keep your vegetables from turning brown. I did use plantains, the green ones. Yellow yam. 
carrots and this is um, patat I'm not sure how you call it in English um, I have malanga and also what else did I put in here potatoes so you can use whatever vegetables you want but these are the vegetables my husband enjoy so these are what we're going to use and eventually I'm going to put croissant I'm not sure how you call it in English watercress I believe and then I have some spinach here I couldn't find um, fresh spinach so I bought some frozen spinach I just heated up and we're going to put a couple of parsley leaves and some thyme and this is our um, dumpling so all I did was put some flour, some flour, uh, salt and pepper, mix it up, add some water to form this uh, dough. And I'm going to show you, see, this is coming to a boil. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my vegetables, my carrots, and my um, the potatoes. I'm going to put that a little bit last because the potatoes... Um, take longer to cook just a few and we're definitely going to put in our um, yellow yam so you got the picture once I'm going to do the other steps I'm going to show you guys it came to a boil it's been boiling for about a couple of minutes now remember the half of Maggie I used when I was making the meat I'm going to just put the other half in now and just give it a nice stir you taste it and if it, if it needs a little more salt, just take some salt and add a little bit more. But this should be fine. Okay, now I'm going to add in oh shoot, my potatoes and patat. I'm going to add that in like that. My husband loves a lot of vegetables. Okay, we're going to let that boil for maybe a couple more minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you how I put in my dumplings. All right, guys, here's our dough. I'm going to make our dumpling. Make sure your hands are washed. I mean, nice and washed. I washed mine with soap and water. This is why I don't eat bouillon everywhere. And you're going to take some of your dumpling like this, and you just roll it between your hands. Whatever shape, some people do it round, but I prefer to do it long like this. Okay. And if it breaks apart, that's fine. Just re roll it again. Since our vegetables are boiling, I'm just adding them in as I roll them. My husband like these, and I'm sure my kid's going to sneak. Some of these dumplings, they're very nice and tasty. And I'll show you how I finish it up. You have an idea. I put all my dumplings in. So I'm going to add some thyme. I'm going to add a few leaves of, and everything's washed already, a few leaves of parsley like this. It's Italian parsley. Uh, I'm going to add in some of my spinach. My husband loves his soup, his bouillon, to be nice and leafy. So we're going to use this half like this. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. Okay. Squeeze a little lime, just a little bit. This one's kind of hard. Okay. And then we're going to use our wash this already. 
I'm going to take the leafy part off like this. I'm just drop that in like that. Just a couple more. This should be fine. If it doesn't have these leaves, my husband will not eat it. All right, guys. And I'm going to do one more step before I add back my meat. And I'll show you what that is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fry some garlic and onion. You can chop them as small or as big as you want. It doesn't matter. Don't let them burn. This is going to flavor your... Um, I'm going to put a little bit of Haitian seasoning like this. And that's going to flavor your, your bouillon. So we're going to put the stove on low. We're going to just let that saute a little bit. Once it's nice and sauteed, I'm going to add it into our Mm, you know the smell of onion and garlic, my God, it smells delicious. I'm gonna let that fry for about a couple of seconds, and I'm gonna show you. On the start, guys, we let it fry for a couple of minutes on low. And what I'm gonna do? Get all that out and add it into our bouillon. There's a drop of that. It's all these nice vegetables. And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put in our meat like this. So I don't because this already has the tomato paste, so it makes no sense to put more. I don't like when it's all ready. So I'm going to take some of this broth here. Get all this out. And right there. This is hot. This is our bouillon. And I'm going to show you how I serve it. Oh, guys. And if you want, you could just give it a quick taste. Oh, hey, hey. Now, guys, this is a must try, but I'll show you how I plate it. Hey, guys, here is the finished product. It is unbelievable. The taste is outstanding. This is a must try. Keep it simple, delicious. As I stated before, just add whatever vegetables you like. Uh, this is how we eat it at my house. Enjoy.